Alright folks and welcome back for some more Magic Farm 2. Playing some Minecraft. I logged in. I, okay, so I know I'm supposed to go set up the Ender Quarry. It's in my backpack. I've got fences because that's how you set it up. Lots of fences. But I logged in and I saw that my diamond leggings were partially broken and I wanted to repair them. And my atomic restorer was still not working. So I brought it down here and I've messed with it a bit. I think I found out what's going on. So I read the entries. Uh, well, first of all, Thomic Tinkering is now on its own tab. So all the Thomic Tinkering stuff is down here. And the Thomic Restore still says that it will do order, Fabrico, and Instrumentum. Um, so that didn't help. And then I went and I looked up the new pipe system, which is under Alchemy and Essentia Tubes. And it tells you about basically it's all built based on suction now so empty jars give you 64 suction and half empty jars give you 32 which suction and whatever so the, the place you have the more suction it pulls the essentia around but pipes can only carry one essentia type at a time so it'll get stuck if you try to put two different types through it uh, and then it tells you there's this new essentia resonator which will help you debug your pipe network so I made one of those that's super easy just some iron nether quartz a stick and just a little bit of magic in the arcane work table so I brought the old restore down here and I started banging on different stuff so you can see in the uh, chat there it says it contains 64 essence, uh, 64 and there's zero suction because it's full right if I take a look at this one same thing 64 zero essentia oh and I did Enable the uh, faithful 64, no, faithful 32 um, texture resource pack. So everything looks just a little different, maybe a little more defined. I hope you guys like it. Um, it should still be close enough that things are pretty easily identifiable, but hopefully it's just a little bit nicer. I kind of like it. All right, at any rate, so this guy has no suction because he's full. This guy has 125 suction of instrumentum. And this is 126, and this is 127. So basically, this guy only pulls instrumentum now. And I went, and this one says, it says it's got zero suction, which doesn't make a lot of sense, but whatever. Uh, I went and I looked on the, the internet a bit, and I found one place where somebody said, yeah, this, this only works with this, uh, instrumentum at this point because of the changes that were made to all the pipes so well what is that yeah, okay so basically what that means is I need to get instrumentum instead of uh, Fabrico in here so how are we gonna do that well, let's see I've, I've got some pipes just laying around here eventually I'm gonna want to hook these back up get that back upstairs I guess it is up there and put the uh, the restore back up there so I thought to myself, well, what can I make out of wood, right? And it should be an instrument, so that's probably a tool. But it's Magic Farm, and you can't make any wooden swords or pickaxes or axes or hoes. But you know what you can make? Because the first thing you have to do in Magic Farm is get flint. And to do that, you can make a shovel. And if you scan a shovel, it has instrumentum in it. So, all we need is two sticks and a plank. Instead of four planks for the crafting table, I guess I can't get it to show up here. Do I have it? There we go. So this one had four Fabrico. This guy only has one Instrumentum. Or I gotta do it. Here we go. Only has one Instrumentum. But, A, Instrumentum is more effective anyway, and B, we have unlimited wood, so who cares? All right, so what that means is uh, right now I'm sawing, uh, well, I'm bringing in the logs from the wood farm, and then I'm sawing them up into planks, and the byproduct is sawdust. The planks are going into the cyclic assembler, and it is set up to make crafting tables. Uh, we're not going to want that anymore. We're going to want a different one. Oh, I forgot to make that. Okay. So, yeah, anybody want a crafting table? I got uh, two stacks of them here in case you want one. Just let me know. So what I'm going to want this guy to do is actually make um, 
shovels. And what I'm going to do is output, well, so, but I, I need to make sticks. So I made another cyclic assembler and I tore the back off of this. Uh, this is where the aqueous accumulator was. I moved him way down there so he's kind of further out of the way. And I went ahead and brought the fluid ducts up so if I do need to write, route water somewhere I can still do that. Uh, but what I think I can do, and I had to move the power cable a little bit and yeah it's, it's a little tight in here. It's a little bit of a mess to try to get all this in here but I think we'll be alright. So what I want to do is um, Oh, and I just saw another problem. Well, I need to output both planks from this guy and sticks, sorry, planks from the sawmill here and sticks from, um, well, from this cyclic assembler into this one. But its power is on the back and there's a thing on the top. You know what? We don't need that sitting on the top of there. I can move that over. It, it, this guy's out of sides pretty much. You can't input and output on the front. There's something on the top, bottom, left, right, and back. Um, I think I can just move this over into the wall and then that will still work. Yeah, that should be good. I'll make a little bit of a mess here with some... Uh, sawdust for a moment, but I think we'll be all right. So let's get the chest, which is of course on the back side there. Come here little guy. Okay. And just throw these away till I get the chest. I'm going to put you here and then I won't be able to open it right now. Well, actually I need to open it right now. I'll put uh, stairs or something here. If you put a semi-transparent block on top of it, then you'll be able to uh, open it even though it's not fully open on the top. So, you know, I probably have that handy. Let's, uh, let's see about getting that set up here. Do we have some stairs? Uh, here, stone brick stairs. So if I do this and I place it, um, I place it from outside, then you won't even see them in here. So let's do like so. Uh, this one. There we go. So the the stairs are facing this way, and on the inside it'll just look like a regular old block, I think. I guess you could also micro block and all that, maybe. But now you can open it, and we're still outputting stuff. And there's no control on that one. Okay, good. So, oh, maybe that, geez, maybe that's an even better fix. No, because if I output wood this direction, then I'm going to have trouble of some of it might go in the trash, some of it might go there. So I don't want to output wood to the back or to the top. But I think what I'm going to do, let's get up out of the water here, is put the cyclic assembler right the other cyclic assembler right here uh, that is not at all where I clicked why did you do that trying to get it on top of that energy conduit but it went way down there for some reason um, there okay so we're gonna input planks from the left we're gonna output sticks to the back and then that's going to go down into the other one. Let's see if we can hook that up. Uh, so I need a new schematic. Let's say, so this is left, right, top, bottom, front, and back. So I want to output to the back and everything else uh, and I want to input from the left. So I'm going to bring an item duct up here. We're going to bring in planks and then we're going to output sticks that way. The only thing I'm thinking is we need two sticks and one plank for a shovel, so there might be a little bit of um, manual tweaking to, to make sure you don't get all sticks and no planks in there at some point, but it's probably not enough that it's going to be a real problem here. Okay, so let's go item duct, 
here and here and then let's go over here and turn off oh, I gotta use a cover to break those don't I okay it's not a connection or it's not a man that's hard to see in there let me get up get this out of the way for the moment I don't want these to connect I just want this to come up so let me get a cover and if I throw a cover on there that should break the connection you guys are this is this is a little more complex than I was hoping for so I was hoping to just drop that in there and go work on the ender cord uh, okay so if I throw this here then that will break the connection so this will be only sawdust and this will be only planks there we go that will work all right and then we want the assembler like right here yes and you want to output to the back input from the left you've already got power uh, I made up a schematic for sticks so we're gonna get all the sticks in the world here and let's see this guy has to be told two things probably one is that's an output I don't actually I'm not sure you need to do that and then the saw mill has to be told that it's allowed to output this inventory slot to the back so let's make this one here red yes so now it can go out the left and it can go out the back um, now either we need a pneumatic servo yeah we're gonna have to install a servo I guess so let's grab a servo next one over please Okay, we'll grab one of those. I thought it would auto output, so oh, you know what it is? It's currently disabled. Let's try it without this. I wanna I I think it should work without it. Let's uh I, I disabled everything because I didn't want them generating. Okay, so now it's cutting them up. Is it outputting? Yes. It looks like it is putting out the planks. Good and it knows how to make sticks good if we had let's say some room in here and I grab all that stuff and I tell you to input from the back oh come on guy oh I haven't plugged in the right there I haven't plugged this guy in. oh and it's not the back it's the top okay and ooh, we need yeah we need to do things hold on hold everything okay don't go into the trash can I need another cover because that's connected again I want this to be an that to be an output I only grab the one cover right yes of course um, you now oh, come on get over here let's fill you up with some more of these oh you're outputting somewhere where what no stop 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 where are you doing uh, no, require high. I don't know where it's outputting those right now. <laughs> um, I guess it's going around and up into here. I don't know. All right, I need another cover because things are going the wrong place. Um, grab another one of you. It's tough to get all these things to fit in real tightly like this. Okay, so if I put a cover there, then that again will keep this all as sawdust. And I can see it. Oh, there's all the sticks. Oh, okay, so it had inventory here. So I put the sticks in there. And we want them in here. Um, all right, so let me grab some more of you. Uh, okay, well, I've made a bit of a mess, but I think you guys see what's going on. Let me clean this up a little bit, get all the things in the places they're supposed to be, and then, let's see, yeah, stop that. Uh, and then I'll come back and we'll try to finish up this little fix so that the we get shovels and instrumentum and I can repair my stuff. And then we'll get off and go work on the ender quarry. So I will be back in a few minutes before I spend any more time trying to 
fix little covers and things here uh, in this episode. Be right back. All right, folks, back, and I think I've got this sorted out. So I pretty much had it done. I just had to get uh, the sticks out of here and the planks out of there, and everything was kind of running, running haywire. The last thing I need to do is put the shovel schematic in here. So I have a blank schematic. And last time I set this up, I went in circles for I don't know how long trying to get this to work. Well, I think it was a bug because it's working just fine now. You just take the Id items you want to put, um, like, like your normal crafting grid. It tells you that's going to make a shovel. I can't click on the little check mark because there's no blank schematic. But once I put that in there, I can click the check mark. And now this is a schematic that shows it how to make a wooden shovel. So once I enable this, it should start making shovels. And of course, shovels don't stack, so only one's going to go in there at a time, but I think that's going to be just fine, because it's going to just automatically do them. There we go. Made a shovel. And it burnt it up. And it made a shovel. And it burnt it up. So it's not quite as fast as I'd like, I guess, but it's not bad. It'll be fine once things get set up here. Uh, so this one's completely worthless. This one should be getting instrumentum in it now. All right, folks, last comment or whatever on trying to get this to work. I've got it sort of figured out. I got it hooked up here. I did get some instrumentum out, but it's still not quite right. Um, this Alembic is not filling with instrumentum. This one occasionally gets one arbor in it, but of course then it goes straight into the jar, which uh, voids it. And I noticed that if I click this pipe off that there as soon as I turn this pipe off this starts getting instrumentum but then this also starts filling up with arbor and once this is full of arbor I don't think we'll get any more instrumentum because I don't have the void jar hooked up so I don't know how to make this work we may have to go to golems or there's something more complex going on here. But I can manually turn this off when I want to fill these guys up uh, for the moment. And I haven't tried this yet, but that should, come on, that should let me finally use this guy. Yeah. So we can get the instrumentum up here and we can repair stuff, but it's not quite right. There's something messed up. So let me get my diamond legs, diamond legs, yes, diamond legs repaired up and put away some of this stuff. It's time to go set up the ender quarry. How are we going to do that? Well, one thing I wanted to show and will be a good, well, hmm. yeah, let's do this. Uh, I've been meaning to do one of these uh, in this series because these are pretty cool. These drums will hold uh, 256 buckets of whatever. And they just take some iron to build in the default configuration. So let's go ahead and build one of these up real quickly. We'll do that. It's going to take two pressure plates, weighted pressure plates, and some iron around it. And bam, you got a drum that's going to hold a lot of liquid. So if I were to say, let's grab a fluid duct, and I may need a pneumatic servo, probably. Maybe, yes. Oops. Keep that in the hand. I'm not throwing it on the floor. If I were to go down here, and um, uh, there's no good place to do it here. All right, let's go upstairs. There is a good place to do it up there. If I put this up here, oh, I gotta put the, well, that's a fluid duct already, so I don't know if that one will output automatically. Let's see. Yep, there we go. So that one's already outputting automatically, and our drum is filling up now with um, lava. So we're gonna have 256 buckets of lava. What could we use that for? Oh, yeah, look at the, the cherry is a little more pink, peach. I don't know. Not as red as it was before, that's for sure. Uh, well, we could probably use that on a magmatic dynamo, right? So let's make up an extra magmatic dynamo here. We're going to need a couple of Invar gears. Easy cheesy. 
uh, may have a transmission coil. Yes. Okay. So basically, um, with a drum, a fluid duct, and a magmatic dynamo, we have, well, only 50, 80 RF per tick, but we have a lot, uh, quite a bit of energy there. And that will be plenty for us to give this a try. So what I decided I want to do here is give the ender quarry a little bit of a try for the moment and then get more serious with some tesseracts and storage upgrades and other things. Um, what kind of chest do I have? Nothing special. Okay, so let's, uh, let's just do here a chest. Let's go iron chest, upgrade, thank you. Gold chest, upgrade, thank you. Oh heck, we'll go all the way to diamond just because we can. It's only two diamonds extra, so and, and some glass. But once you're at gold, doing the diamond chest itself isn't uh, isn't a big leap to diamond. Okay, and are you full? Ah, uh, you're getting there. Okay, so this is gonna set the boundaries. I'm actually not gonna do the full 64 on each side first. I just want to kind of experiment a little bit, and then we'll figure it out from there. This will provide power. This will provide the liquid uh, to make the magmatic dynamo go. I can plug that straight into one side of this thing to give it energy. I'll plug the diamond chest into the other side to get the items out. And it looks like I lost the important item for this build. Sticks. <laughs> Um, when I was playing around downstairs. But at any rate, so yeah, he's basically full, close enough. Uh, so these guys, you can shift right click with the wrench, or you can just normal right click with a stick, and off comes the drum. Oh, and it filled up completely. Cool. Right, so these guys are kind of funny, and I haven't actually run one yet, so this is going to be new for me. Um, I was looking at the map. And I decided what I want to do is do this over a ravine that's not right next to the house. Because I'm not quite sure how this is going to turn out. But let's see. I do have the sleeping bag. So well, we got plenty of time right now. Uh, yeah, looking at the map, I was going to go down to this ravine here. It's a bit of a ways from the house. So if this all looks ugly and I hate it, then it won't bother me too much. But it's not so far that um, you know it's going to take an inordinate amount of time to get there. You know, I guess the other thing is I have to build across that ravine. Oops, is that it? Yes, I went too far. I have to build across that ravine with these fences. So let's find a place that's fairly narrow, like right here. Looks pretty good. All right. So here's the deal. You can make this up to 64 on each time, side, and you define the area that you want to quarry with fences. So let's say we want to quarry something like this size for now. Okay, and we'll put the quarry itself right there in a moment. Uh, we kind of need flight almost if you're going to do this up high. Or you're going to need a pretty flat area because you have to put these fences all around it in a straight line of course light good so right here when I have to dig through the um, terrain just a bit to be able to place these right fortunately with the shovel the earth mover that's not going to be a big issue all right what do I define over there about this side okay let's just go ahead and Pretty close. Okay, flying again. Yeah, and uh, I think the first place I saw this was in Direwolf's series, and he complained about the fences, and I have to agree. I mean, this is a, a pain, pain, kind of a painful way to define your area. I like the old build craft where you could just use the markers and use a redstone signal to uh, connect them together but anyway okay so this is obviously a very small area but we're just doing a little test here 
and see if we can get this to work. And this will be the first time I've actually tried to make this uh, this new Ender Quarry thing work. So we'll see what ha what we get here. All right. So what you want to do is make a square out of fences like that. And then you want to put the ender quarry here and hopefully, do I need to right click it? There we go. You right click it, it says analyzing the fence boundary, unable to detect the fence boundary. All right, folks, and we're back. Oh, and I just got on my test world trying to figure out what's going on. So here's the deal. These fences are not the fences you are looking for. Um, these are fancy fences from vanilla with sprinkles. And it seems that um, Extra Utilities Ender Quarry doesn't recognize fancy fences. It also seems that Extra Utilities Ender Quarry does not recognize oak fences. However, Ender, uh, all those words, Extra Utilities Ender Quarry does recognize the Extra Utilities Microblock fences. So we can make microblock fences and then this should work and yes I had to go around in circles for quite some time to figure that one out uh, here we go so I need a stone saw well a saw of some kind hopefully that'll be enough let's uh, let's let's see here first of all let's use those two all right so the way you make these guys is let me just hit R on one of these uh, didn't oh I hit E whoops you uh, you need these. It doesn't matter what the material is, but you need posts. So four posts and three pillars. So uh, these are the bigger ones. These are the smaller ones. You need one more of these. So it's close to 50/50, but not quite. All right. So how do you do this? Well, you take whatever material you like, including dirt, by the way, um, and you cut it in half. Okay. And now you take half of that again, and you cut that in half again. All right, so we're going to have actually quite a fit, bit of fence. Now you take these guys, and you cut them sideways. So you cut them in half vertically instead of horizontally, or horizontally instead of vertically, whatever. And this will give you uh, pillars. And then you do these guys, and those give you the posts. And I made quite a few more than I expected to here. So one stack of wood or dirt or whatever material you happen to like uh, is going to get you quite a bit of these. Let's do that little crafting station upgrade here. And then we're going to want um, posts in the corners and pillars down the middle. And that should give us some fences. Yeah. Okay, more of these and more of these more fences all right is that it that's it so uh, with my method i ended up with two extra plank uh, posts i'm sorry two extra pillars and 40 extra posts so i made a bit too many posts all right let's get all these not really fence fences out of my inventory How's that sound for fun? Okay, so that's more than enough. And you're going to see these won't combine, connect because they're not the same type of fence. Uh, I also verified that you do not need to be square. Just a rectangle is fine. And there can't be any intersections. So this isn't going to work. Um, for instance, so let's just quickly end this episode up with a little test here. Not nearly as big as I was going to do. But at this point, I just want to show, see it work for myself and show you guys it working. Show you guys it working. Well, there's some good English for you. Okay, so now we have fences all around. They should be real fences that Ender Cor uh, Extra Utilities recognizes its own. You right click. Ha, yes. We got a cool little green thing here. Oh, and it's going because I had the uh, energy on this, the engine on this earlier. So you can see it's, well, it's already used up all of its energy. So let's put down the magmatic dynamo. It is sucking in lava. Well, actually, it's being pumped lava from the fluid duct with a pneumatic servo in it uh, that was told to ignore redstone control. 
pulling the power or the lava out of the drum. There it goes, doop, 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 ticking down. But it's still got quite a bit of power. And this is just one engine running at uh, 80 RF per tick. So this is not going to go super fast, I'm sure. But hopefully we will be able to see this doing its thing. Now I just actually watched a little thing on it and they said there's going to be some particle oh well you know what it's not going to do much until we give it a place to output items into which I had down at one point and picked back up. Let's take that. There it goes. It is digging copper and it's digging stone. Oh yeah, really slowly. So this is going to take a good chunk of energy. Um, so this is going to be a, a good reason to upgrade the energy back at the base. Ah, there's the particles. Did you see that for just a second there? Yep. So this guy actually digs down. And what we're going to find, um, yeah, what we're going to find is if I just dig down here, it's going to be dirt all the way down to the point where it's dug. Oh, of course, there's water. But it goes vertically. And it replaces, let me get out of here before I drown, uh, it replaces everything with dirt. So this is all, again, about how you don't lag the server, is the idea. So just for demonstration, I would presume it's going to dig one of these blocks next, when it finishes that column. So it should replace one of these three with... Um, dirt once it's finished with uh, going down this first one. So let me hit the old sleeping bag one more time here out in the open. Hopefully we'll get to see that replaced with dirt and we'll get to see a few items in the pack or the uh, chest. And then that's going to be an episode and a half probably. All right, not in a half, but definitely an episode. This was a lot more complicated than I expected. All right, there we go. Now it's replaced that one with dirt and it's going down the list, right? So it sounds like it just dug a silverfish and the silverfish came out. Interesting. All right, so we got some lapis. Obviously, that's down near diamond level. Um, we got a little bit of ore. It's dug one completely straight down and is working on the second one now. So got it figured out. I know how to do it. Unfortunately, I made... 256 I guess of the fancy fences that aren't really fences according to this thing uh, but that's okay it's just wood we've got unlimited wood from the tree farm so it doesn't really matter too much Ooh, berries. Mm, berries. haven't eaten these since episode one right well all right it'll be on episode one uh, at any rate that is going to be it for this episode I am certain that that is more than I Nice and long episode. I'm going to pick all this up, bring it back to the base. Uh, you know, I may let this run a while because I just want to see. Uh, basically, the idea is it should replace all this stone and maybe that coal and a couple things here with dirt. So I'm just going to let it run till it's done and then we'll see. Uh, or I'll just see if it replaced it all. I'm sure it will. And just take a look, see what it looks like. All right, folks. Uh, just a real quick follow up on the ender core here we can see that it uh, well it's done it's not making any particle effects anymore and I put that in after it already mined that area if I go down here in the ravine we can see that it's dirt all the way down and of course it's actually dirt all the way down to bedrock uh, and it has mined up a sufficient amount of stuff lots and lots of cobblestone of course but uh, a few other things. No diamonds in this little test run, but there we go. Now the other thing is, if you right click on it, it should say, hey, the quarry has finished. And this guy is now basically idling. So these engines don't shut off completely on their own, but it's basically just down at idle 4 RF per tick, doing as little output and using as little lava as it can. So when this guy's done, it'll it'll stop consuming power uh, but these engines aren't smart enough to completely shut themselves off unless you do some redstone trickery or, or magic to make that happen. So this is working. Um, I made up some more fences back at home. Did I bring them? Yep. Made up some more fences and am getting 
well, we'll get prepared to uh, go out and do a more serious ender quarry here. Uh, so for now, I'm going to clean this one up and get out of here. And we'll be back later with somewhere to do the full-size ender quarry. See you then.